So guys, welcome back again to Vampire. Oh, that time was amazing. Seriously, I didn't know what to do in every sense. There's gotta be something. And to be now I'm stuck here. Bullshit. I don't know what to do here. No. So I don't know. It's just, I'm not that mu loving this game that much. Hey, wait. No there's a sense. Prewen has several patrols roaming the area. They do not pursue me. But they're looking for vampires, and they're most efficient. They'll not relent until the killer has been identified. I have a common objective, but I require them. I think someone is eavesdropping. Are you certain? You might as well come in, whoever you are. You can sense him. Slowly, vampire. Who are you? Oh, Jesus. I mean you no harm. Say it, the vampire. Present yourself. I... I need a word. With anyone. What the fuck? I can't move. I can't. Oh. Oh. Well, that's something I can do for you. Okay. And who might you be? Uh, I don't. I won't tell you. I don't know. I'm not sure that I know anymore. Might I at least learn the reason of your presence? That's none of your concern, sir. You have entered my room in the middle of the night, pale as a corpse and shaking like a tree. So please, indulge me. Something. Someone is molesting people. In fact, killing them. Biting them. The calling card of a vampire. Like you. Uh, you seem like an expert. I'm a victim to... This is not real. I'm a victim to... I've been hunted down in the streets and attacked. I'm a victim here too. I... I believe you. Then if you are not a vampire, who or what are you? Dr. Edgar Swansea of the Brotherhood of St. Paul. I am performing an independent investigation here in an attempt to understand precisely what is going on. Okay, help me then. Um, what is this uh, Brotherhood? Okay, let's... I'm what gonna know everything. This Brotherhood? Sir, if the name is not familiar to you, then we shall discuss it another time. Okay. What do you know? What have you uncovered concerning the murders? It started a few nights ago. Rumors of violent murders. The docks have always been, shall we say, somewhat unsavory. But this is different. How different? A vampire is at work here. Famished. Reckless. It must be brought to ground, and quickly. Jesus. Serious? Okay. I heard another voice, that of a woman. Who were you talking to? Ridiculous. I have no idea what you're talking about. Something tells me not to trust you. Then the feeling is mutual. Help me then. Then help me find the culprit. I may. If you'll first tell me why you opened this door. I followed a trail, the scent of blood from a recent victim. It led me here. You thought I was your aggressor. That explains a great deal. We are both chasing the same shadow. Um. Okay. What should I tell him here? Let's press to know what details about him. Before I make any choices. Okay. Dr. Edgar Swans. Okay. There's no details here. No, not interested. 
Okay, um, yes, why not? A shadow, indeed. Yet I heard his voice in my head. It was a moment I believed I was mad. You should let me handle this affair. You've no idea what you're up against. No. I will find the monster. He is mine. How will you do any better than I? But then let me ask you this. What are your intentions if you find the killer? I demand answers. I will at last have the answers to my questions. Hmm. Then I can only wish you good hunting. And pray we shall meet again. Jesus. So guys, I, as I was saying, I'm not that much uh, into this game. I don't know. There's something weird about this game that makes me not enjoy it. Really, I'm not enjoying it. The graphics not so cool. Look, the really the graphics is awful. And I don't know. I didn't play a lot. Uh, I'm gonna play. If I'm not gonna enjoy it, I'm not gonna record it and play it, guys. I don't know. Not gonna do what I'm not feeling to to do. Right. There's a lot of games that I didn't finish, not because the graphics or something. But just because I didn't have time to record it. I'm gonna finish it anyway. In the meanwhile, let's continue playing this game. Maybe... It's locked. I will enjoy it. I don't know. We have to... Lose nothing. If Swansea is not my attacker, it means somebody else came here tonight. Okay. Someone must know something. Can I ask her? I talked to her before, right? Evening, sir. Can I help you? I have a few questions for you. <sighs> well, if you must. I want, I want the I truth. I spoke to Dr. Swansea. He's not the man I'm looking for. Now, I want the truth. The truth? What do you mean? I suspect that someone else was here tonight. And I don't think Tom wants to tell me about it. I'm just the barmaid here, okay? If Tom says you're the only visitor we had, then you're the only visitor we had. I can feel your fear, madam. Please, tell me what's going on. It's Will. William Bishop. He came in here earlier tonight and he... Well, I thought he was going to clock someone. Tell me about him. Tell me about this William Bishop. Will was a sailor who worked at the cannon factory before he lost that job. A nice bloke, really. He's never been violent. Until tonight. Why keep it a secret? Why not tell me about it? Tom's nothing if not loyal. After Will lost his job, he offered him one ear. They used to be good mates. But recently, Will... Will started to get very aggressive. I see. Thank you for your candor. I'll be sure to talk to Tom. Okay. Wait just a second, guys. Okay, let's do this. What? Oh yeah. Who's that guy? Okay. What the? Hello, sir. May I disturb you again? And you're still ugly as sin. No. I'll leave you to your bottle then. It's at the barmer. Are they stupid or something? Oh god, sir. You look like Jonah's whale. Just spat you out of hell. Can I get you a drink? <laughs> no. Jesus thank you. Christ, did you have to I'm say not, that? Not thirsty. Well, grab a chair and get some rest. This is gonna be another long night. Yeah. Uh, talk to me about talk William. Talk to me about the visit from your old friend William. Yes, Will came by tonight. But he's not my friend anymore. Really? I need to find him. I need to find him. It's a matter of urgency. Do you know where he is? You could try his boat. It's up by the North Pier. He sleeps there when he's too drunk to get home. Please describe him to me. <sighs> What'd you expect? He's a tall, sick bastard with a bad rash and torn old clothes. <sighs> William used to be strong. Now he's a mess. Thank you, Tom. If you see him, tell him I don't want him back here unless he cleans up his act, okay? 
Okay, at least we know where is it right now. It's locked, all right. Okay. Where is the fuck? Is that guy? Uh, yeah. I think I have to follow the trail. All right, let's go from here. Jesus, it's blocked. Man, for a game like this, it's so massive. I will get to the bottom of this intrigue. What's being done to me, to this city? Can I fast travel there? No. I can't, I can't believe he killed his own sister. There's the guy, right? The body is still warm. This man has just been drained of blood. Uh, this corpse has been dried of its blood, just like the previous victim. Oh. This man was armed. He tried to defend himself. Examine both blood and empty gin bottles. This bishop fellow is something of a heavy drinker. Pick up. What's no. this? Some sort of note. Move there on. are blood splats on the other side of the canal. I must reach that barge. Where? Ah. Okay. Awesome. Where do I have to go? Okay. Over there! Jesus Christ. He's done. Let's go there. Whoa, did you see that? <laughs> That's awesome move. What the Jesus is that? Ammunition crate. Good. I may need a lot of bullets. I feel like I'm back on the front line again. Can I go here? Check. I cannot enter. It reminds me of a, of a game. Wait. Where did he come from? I'm not here. I'm not here. Shut up. Okay, wanna fight? Let's go. Let's do this. Jesus Christ. Okay. Okay, you know what? I really need to fight those guys. I don't want to. Fighting is in this game is not cool. What is this? Press Okay, why not? Burn it, boy! Jesus Christ! No way! Oh, Jesus! Jesus! Yes, suck the blood out of him. Man, the stamina is going so freaking fast. Okay, what do we have here? Before, let's do this. Take everything. Okay, now what?
Okay, he's hiding. No more hiding. Oh Jesus. Look out here. Vicious bugger. Come. Jesus. Come on, you son of a bitch. Oh my gosh! Over there! There's one of them burning! Jesus! Where did you come from? Come on, shoot! I need to feed myself. Come on, man. He's done. Okay. Where now? Okay. There's more blood here. Fresh blood. The whole building reeks of it. The scent is so strong it makes me dizzy. What is that? Awesome, I got a new weapon. What do I have to do here? This creature is bedeviled. I must put it down. Give me your blood. Jesus, the stamina. Oh no. He's a vampire too. Come on, the stamina is going so freaking fast. Give me my blood back, you bitch. Oh Jesus Christ. Oh no, he did something. Come on, give me more blood. Jesus fucking Christ. Oh my gosh. Come on, more stamina, come on. Done for. Jesus, that was hard. William was an honorable man. I could have saved him. Mr. Hampton, are you in there? We knew him well, another lost soul, a kindred spirit. Sir, listen to the sound of my voice. I am. I am a doctor. You're suffering from shock. I must return to my flock. They'll stray without me. What? Remember, certain skulls are every bit as resistant as we are. Who are you? What do you mean by skull? You truly are a newborn. I should have realized... Wait. You, you are the woman from the bar. Are you... like me? Can you help me? I believe, sir, I already have. She's a vampire too, huh? Look at this awful graphics, man. By George and the Saints, you've solved the mystery of And they charge sixty dollars for this. Patience, good fellows, I've come to offer help. Just give me a moment to secure my boat. We can leave this awful place. 
William was not the evil man they claimed. He was just taken by the thirst. He needed his drink. This man requires medical attention. We'll see he gets to the nearest hospital. No, please, I almost tend to my fault. My flock needs me. Yes, I go with a good Dr. Swansea. He's resourceful, and I'm sure he'll take good care of you. You'd best come as well. The sun is soon to rise, and you'll need a place to rest. I just need a moment. If I can learn something about what has happened to William, I'll be a step closer to understanding what happened to me. Okay, so... This poor creature can't be my maker. Could it be some subspecies of vampire? What I must I find a place to analyze the blood. Where's this place you're talking about? Where's this? Ah, take some money. How can you analyze the blood? Can I go upstairs or something? Okay, see the main... No, not here. Where's the main quest? Not here. Okay. What is this? Board the boat. Okay, no. Where's the blood? Said that I have to analyze. Hey, there's something here. But you, did you go upstairs? How? I can't. It's locked, all right. It's locked. Oh yeah. Okay, how can I analyze? You can't analyze anything here. There's nothing here. I know there's something there, but seriously, I didn't find anything. Where are we headed? We're on our way to the Pembroke Hospital. It's just across the canal. They'll have a bed for poor Mr. Hampton. William was... What manner of creature was he? Predator, prey, villain, and victim. Who can say? The important thing is that he's been stopped. Duly noted. And the woman? What? Who is she? What woman? No, don't play me for a fool. You used me to locate that skull. You must know who she is. And I thought you were gentlemen. You shouldn't talk about a lady behind her back. But I will tell you, she values her privacy. Hmm. Were London as peaceful as she appears from the middle of the canal? If only that were the reality of the situation. To be honest, I've always tried to avoid this part of town. Pembroke Hospital is the last bastion between the rest of London and the epidemic. The flu has decimated the East End and the war still rages. Welcome to the front lines of a plague. This is where you work, Dr. Swansea. I am the administrator of Pembroke Hospital. I thought you were here in service of your mysterious order, the Brotherhood of... Of St. Paul's Stone, yes. But first and foremost, I'm a man of science. A physician, like yourself, Dr. Reed. How, how do you know who I am? No need for modesty. 
You are Dr. Jonathan Reed, a surgeon of some caliber and renown, if I'm not mistaken. You are correct, sir. I knew it! I had my suspicions. But when you took the blood sample from the corpse of poor William, I was certain. Dr. Reed, marvelous. Have we met? I attended three of your seminars before the war. I have the utmost admiration for your research. And what a turn of fate. England's most esteemed blood specialist returns to London a vampire. <sighs> that word, again, from a so-called man of science. I understand. Traditionally, the role of science is to refute myth, but when myth walks among us, the Brotherhood of St. Paul has dedicated its purpose to their study. There's so much for you to learn. And for that, you are right. Well, then let me be blunt. Join my staff at Pembroke Hospital. As a physician. I suspect you'll not find a better post it's than stopped. the to contemplate your uh, predicament. This is sudden. I was returning home to see my sickly mother. But alas, that was before contracting this... affliction. Dr. Reed, take a moment to consider. The post would be for the night shift, providing a good explanation for your absence during daylight hours. You'll be adequately reimbursed, and have a place to hide. I even had the forethought to bring some clean clothes. So, what do you say? It seems I have little choice, but yours is a generous offer, so I thank you. Brilliant! Oh, Jonathan, this is one for the book, and the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Friendship, you say, huh? There is actually an ending in, the, in this in uh, this game. It's a long game, really freaking long. Thank goodness, I was beginning to be concerned. Worry no more, Nurse Crane, for I bring good news. Oh, Doctor, what a night. We lost two more patients. Nurse Scow said she couldn't take it anymore and resigned. Yes, well, I'll make a new rotor in the morning. In the meantime, find a... good bed for Mr. Hampton. Be sure to pay attention to his needs. Of course, Doctor. Oh, and Dorothy? Yes, Doctor? Dr. Reed here has just returned from the front. He served King Country and will be joining us here at Pembroke. We're very lucky to have gained a surgeon of his talent, and one so experienced in blood transfusions. That is good news indeed, Doctor. <laughs> oh, yes. Here at Pembroke, it's not what we have, but what we haven't. It's only thanks to Nurse Crane and the staff that our ship doesn't sink. If you have any questions, just ask her. Duly noted. Thank you. Your assistance is required, Dr. Swansea, immediately. Welcome aboard, Jonathan. We'll catch up after my rounds. Coming, Nurse Crane! I'm coming! <laughs> we just let, let go, motherfucker. Look! You, you still? Okay, now. It's locked, all right. Okay, what now? You can do better than that. It's Jesus. Oh no. Rotten or crusty, each heart contains the seed of life. Drink at this river, dry it all. I'm getting closer. Come on, you bastard! I won't bite! Sir, please! You've lost too much blood. Calm yourself. You think I didn't notice? Stop your staring and get me to an hospital, you ass! 
be more I'll kill you uh, Okay Insulting a good Samaritan Not exactly the way to get rescued Alright, alright, sorry I am in pain here My guts are spilling out onto the street And you're yabbering on Yes, that's a very nasty wound you've got there Take my word, I was a, I am a doctor Dr. Jonathan Reed Name's Clay Cox. I'd appreciate you helping me to a better place, Doc. Follow me, Mr. Cox. Let me assist you to that better place. Okay. I need to take him to the hospital. Follow the trail. Where is the trail? Oh yeah. Now I see it. Okay, where is it leads to? Okay, what's going on here? Okay. Jesus. to fart me. Fuck you. I'll kill you. I'll kill you. What the... Uh, what the fuck did you do? Oh no. What I, have, what I have done? There are more choices here too, like Detroit. I'm not ready for that. another scene oh another scene okay let's see a life of a vampire I need to go there okay doctor where have you been I've little time to play hide-and-seek with new staff members no matter how illustrious they may be I apologize nurse I needed some time to myself. This has been the longest and strangest night of my life. You delivered poor Mr. Hampton from a terrible fate. The means to that end should be of little concern, Doctor. Thank you, Nurse. What can I do for you? Dr. Swansea insisted we provide you a quiet office. You'll find it on the second floor with your name on the door. Thank you. Nurse Crane, isn't it? Yes, Dorothy Crane. Welcome to Pembroke Hospital, Dr. Reed. Your office has been prepared. I have a few questions. I'd like to ask a few questions first. Uh, who's uh, and Mr. Hampton, the patient we brought in. Mr. How Hampton. Does he fare? I gave him a sedative to help him sleep. Poor thing was in quite a state of shock. Okay, who is Dr. Swansea? What kind of man is Dr. Swansea? Well, you Swansea? accepted the job from him. I thought you would have known about your employer. I'm sorry, that was a dumb question, I know. Uh, I only just met him. Uh, he knows more than I know him. He knows me more than I know him. It's right to assume Dr. Swansea knows far more about me than I do about him. You'll get to know him soon enough and better than me. The administrator has better things to do than mix with us. Only just I mean, okay, back. Uh, where's my room? If you could point me in the direction of my room again, nurse. 
Second floor of the hospital, left after the stairs. It's the last vacant office at the end of the corridor. Got it. Thank you, Nurse Crane. Okay. There's more blood. Can I suck the blood out of her? Good evening, Nurse. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed, the new surgeon here at the Pembroke. Dr. Swansea has already told us about you, sir. Oh, Jesus. I'm Nurse Gwyneth Brannigan. Welcome to the Pembroke Hospital. Did he really? It's a good thing I wasn't hoping to keep a low profile. All members of staff have already read about your new blood transfusion technique. Dr. Swansea made sure of that. I see. Well, I'm a little surprised, but I suppose I'll just have to deal with this unexpected notoriety. You must know, blood transfusions are Dr. Swansea's primary subject of research. He is convinced it is the future. Ah, uh, your life in London? Uh, what the uh, thing? Uh, okay. I'm not familiar with all the staff yet. Perhaps you could help me. Brilliant professionals. Most of them. Dr. Swansea has a gift for recruiting talent. Most of them? Is there a problem I should know about, Nurse? It would be inappropriate for me to speak ill of a colleague. Speak up. Uh, anyone that sound stands out? Okay, speak up. Nurse Brannigan, if you do know something, please tell me. Anything you say will be held in confidence. No. I may disagree with some conduct. But in the end, everybody is doing their best. Is there anyone that stands out? Well, I have never met someone as dedicated as Dr. Tippett's. He should be a standard for us all here. If only he were younger. Why should his age be a problem? I guess it's fair to say he's always pushing himself to the limits. He just doesn't know when to stop and get some rest. Uh-huh. How are things here? Not good, to say the least. We're struggling against an invisible enemy, more lethal than any bullet from a gun. It's hard, Doctor. Uh, there's an invisible an enemy. Invisible enemy. Quite a poetic term for a disease, especially from a nurse. Sorry, Doctor. These last few weeks have been exhausting. We could all do with a good night's sleep. Do you think this hospital can survive the epidemic? We are all volunteers here, and we're trying to hold fast, but how do we beat an invisible killer? Some nurses have already resigned. Goodbye, nurse. Okay, that's it. Call me if you need assistance. I want to drain the blood out of her. I'm evil. By this <laughs> epic okay. With that motherfucker. Good evening, sir. So it is true. The famous Dr. Reed has joined us. I can't think of any better news during these terrible times. Do we know each other? Actually, yes. We met once before at the Rockefeller University in New York. Dr. Tippett, yes, I remember. I was assisting Professor Carell in his research about coronary bypasses. He had nothing but praise for you. He was also very confident about your future. And look at you now, eminent surgeon and blood transfusion specialist. <laughs> um, personal questions? I can't. Okay, your life. Uh, tell me all of the stuff. What can you tell me about the staff in the hospital? Some are really good, and others are not so good. But during this troubled period, there is no time for slander. I prefer to focus on the positive character traits. Positive. Tell okay. me more about cherished people then. Nurse Brannigan is a pearl. She is the most helpful and dedicated nurse I've ever worked with. A clever and cheerful woman. You really seem to admire her skills. I'll go even further. If she was a man, she would be a damn fine practitioner. Any opinion about the management? 
I don't always agree with Dr. Swansea's reserve, but I must admit he does all he can to keep this facility running during this crisis. Ah yes, the burden of command. I was fed up with this concept while serving as a medical officer. Don't get me wrong. Swansea's a good administrator. I just wish he would get out of his office down again. Okay. You're exhausting yourself, Corcoran. Maybe you should think about preserving your strength. No. We must keep on healing all those poor souls. We are the last rampart before chaos. Once more, unto the breach. Nurse Brannigan is worried about you, Doctor. <laughs> she should not have told you that. I will have a word with her. You don't have to blame her for her honesty. <laughs> I'm not that kind of man, my dear Jonathan. Actually, Nurse Brannigan's opinion is the only one I may listen to. Uh huh. I know it. What is the Pembroke Hospital situation? And please, speak freely. This hospital is not exactly the best of London. I'm sure you are used to working in a better environment. It's more than enough. In any case, the personnel of a hospital are much more important to me than the building. Don't be misled by appearances, Dr. Reed. This hospital does not lack talented people. It just lacks hope. Man. Goodbye, Dr. Tippett. You tell her anything, I will kill you. What? Stop. 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 Doctor, stop. I'll drain the blood. I promise. Drain the blood. Good evening, Dr. Tippett. Dr. Reed, any good news to share? Can you uh, can I ask a personal question now? Goodbye, Dr. Tippett. Okay, let's go to the office. Is there anything here? Dr. Okay. Swansea is right. This place seems perfect to conduct my research. Who is that? Good evening, sir. Can I help you? Unless you're here to fix my face. No. I don't think you can help me. I'm Dr. Reed. I've recently taken the position of head surgeon here. War injuries, am I right? You guessed right, Doctor. German shell took my pretty little mug right off. But they still call me Thomas Elwood. Where were you stationed, sir? Did you serve for long? I really don't want to talk about all this shit. No offense. I was pushing too much. I served in France myself. I just wanted to know what happened to you. You were an officer, weren't you? Then I doubt we fought the same war, sir. No offense. How is your stay with us, Mr. Elwood? Oh, it's bliss. I just escaped death in the trenches to be surrounded again by the moans of the dying. Can I ask you precisely why you're a patient here? It's the pain, sir. The drugs don't work. It just hurts under the scars, if you get my drift. Who is treating you? Is someone in particular looking after your case? Nobody since the old and tired doctor spoke to me. Started to think I was forgotten about. Wouldn't blame you. You don't seem worried by that. My face hurts so much more when I smile or cry. I've learned it's easier not to speak. But be assured I'm smiling inside. Can I do anything for your pain? Nurses gave me a bunch of pills. No effect. Told you. It's like the flames are under my skin, burning away. Goodbye for now, Mr. Elwood. I know what does effect on me. 
Oh, cheers. But the suffering continues. The pain. I cannot enter. Here it is. Good evening, Mr. Hampton. How do you feel? Dr. Reed, is it? Oh, Sora, I must apologize for my behavior. What do you mean? I was not myself in the factory. Fear and exhaustion made me say awful things to you, I'm afraid. You remained perfectly nice and polite. A little delirious, perhaps. But who wouldn't be after enduring an abduction? Thank you, Doctor. That's a relief. Now all I need to do is rest and return to my flock. Personal question. How do you feel? How do you feel, Mr. Hampton? Medically speaking, I mean. I feel exhausted. Beyond the exhaustion, actually. William drank so much of my blood in his madness. I feel... empty. You're in good hands here. Dr. Swansea is well versed in blood transfusion, and I'm sure he'll take the best care of you. Thank you, sir. I believe all I need is rest, and then I can go back to the people who need me. Mm -hmm. Have you made friends since you arrived? Not really, but I recognize Miss Harriet Jones. I knew her when she lived by the docks. That poor woman had such a miserable life. You never came to see her here at Pembroke? Receiving visits when sick can be an important part of the healing process, you know. We're not just bodies. You're preaching to the converted now, Doctor. To be truly honest, I thought she was dead. She left the docks many months ago. What do you do for a living? What do you do for a living, Mr. Hampton? I can't help but notice the cross around your neck. I manage a night asylum for the poor and homeless of the docks. And I try to guide the lost and hesitant on the right path to our Lord. Uh... Why didn't you use your cross against William Bishop? To repel him somehow? That's a very strange question, Doctor. A cross is no magical token, if that's what you were trying to say. Not mine, anyway. Are you a priest, Mr. Hampton? A deacon, maybe? Not at all, Doctor. I'm just a man of faith, willing to preach the good word. How did you end up in William Bishop's den? I had received alarming news about his recent behavior. I went to his place, and he refused to let me go. Why did he abduct you? William was an alcoholic. His addiction suddenly changed to blood. I don't know why. Just like a patient I met here. This Miss Hawcroft. Okay. That's it. Goodbye, Mr. Hampton. We'll talk again later. I'm tired of all this talking. Let's go to the room already. Second floor. Jeez, there's a lot of patients here. How can I go to, to the second floor? Not from here, of course. Not from there. The second floor. How can I go to the second floor? That's not cool. Oh yeah. Here's the stairs. All right. We are going to the office. Awesome. There's something I need to get. What's this? What is that? Nothing. Okay. Actually, there's something here, right? No. Locked. This is the office. This must be the place. It's definitely away from prying eyes. Relegated to the shadows. A kingdom of my own. At least I won't be sleeping in a coffin. Okay. Let's take everything. The flower's dying. It needs water. 
Where's the vulture? Okay. What the fuck just happened? What the fuck am I wearing? What is this? Okay, okay. Let's slip a uh let's save actually. What is this? What can I build here? No nothing. Okay. Let's slip a little. Come on. I need some rest. Oh, I can upgrade. Awesome. What's that? Oh, yeah, I need some help. Uh, okay. Why not? What's this? Oh, I need more stamina too. Defend? What do you mean? Okay, I think that's it. Confirm. Okay. So guys, I really need to end this episode here. Thank you again so much for watching uh, this episode. Leave a like if you enjoy watching. Of course, I will see you in the next one. Take it easy, guys.